We have also played to you a recording of a phone call conversation held between the Attorney General and Mr. Jakba as recently as 9th April 2024, a day Mr. Jakba was scheduled to testify in court. It is evidently clear from the foregoing facts that the plea bargaining excuse being mounted by the Attorney General and his assigns are palpable lies calculated to divert attention from the critical issues at stake. The question every well-meaning Ghanaian should be asking is, why the Attorney General will refuse a proposal to settle this case, which will ensure the payment of 2 million euros to the state at a time our country is faced with economic bankruptcy. <laughs> there was no wrongdoing on the part of anybody. Then somebody says he's sensitive about his company's reputation and so on, so he's prepared to pay 2 million euros to Ghana. I say no. If I take it, a uh, uh, two forcing will not go to jail. So let that 2 million go waste, and I find way of contriving evidence to get a two force nail. These are the statesmen we have. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, considering the scandalous nature of this recording and other forms of evidence we have shown you, we wish to make the following pressing demands as part of efforts to restore credibility to the Attorney General's office and Ghana's judicial system as a whole. One, the immediate and unconditional resignation of, or dismissal of Godfrey Dame for bringing the high office of the Attorney General and Minister of Justice <coughs> into disrepute and public opprobrium. Clearly, Mr. Dame is not fit to hold himself out as Attorney General and Minister of Justice. He is unfit to be the leader of the Ghana Bar. Two, the immediate prosecution of Godfrey Dami for multiple violations of the laws of Ghana. Yeah. We wish to make it clear that should President Akufuado refuse or fail to prosecute him, a future NDC government will prosecute yeah. Godfrey yeah. Dami for this heinous crime of publication yeah. of evidence.